<laughs> Get those chestnuts away from my face. <laughs> Hey there, it's Kayla from On The Fritz, and um, I'm using a different camera, and I've never been good at like selfies and can't holding a camera like this, so sorry. It's all wonky, but anyways, I decided to do a little mini vlog. I'm finally putting together a bookshelf I bought from Walmart like two months ago. <laughs> it's gonna go right here. Because I've been acquiring a lot of books over this pandemic and I need somewhere to put them on top of the books that I already owned before and knickknacks and other things. So I asked my husband to help me with this yesterday, but I was feeling very meh yesterday. So and it says here, recommend a number of people for assembly, one. So I'm a strong independent woman, I can do this, so I'm going to bring you along. And I'm watching Izzy. You can't see her face, but I'm watching some YouTube. So yeah, let's hope this works out because <laughs> so like 10 minutes in and I'm already stuck. <laughs> this is all I've done so far. That's it. And I, okay, I need this F and I don't, I don't have it. I don't have this. All I have are big pieces. I got the backing. I got more shelves and that, that's it. Now skipping ahead and I think like this is the bottom. Like the stand, yeah. I think this is like the stand. So like there's F, and then like the sides are from those. So I'm missing this. Ugh. I mean that's what I get for buying a thirty dollar thing from Walmart. But is it that hard to have all the pieces in the box? I don't think so. Stay tuned. Also video update, I'm watching Trixie. Support your dry queens. Update, so I decided just to move on. It turns out like that little piece was like a kick plate, which means it's there for visual purposes, not actual support purposes. And this is what we got so far. Ooh. And I'm watching Bree. I'm so proud of myself. Um, so I was doing well and I realized I put two pieces in the wrong hole. <laughs> so I had to redo that. But now I'm just putting on like the cardboard backing and then like the shelves, I think I can put them wherever I want. And I'm still watching Bree. She's doing her like monthly wrap up and favorites. Loving that video. And yeah, so I need to get a hammer. I have to hammer in the backing into like the ply board. <laughs> so, but yay me, I'm almost done. And Penny's here. My daughter's here. There she is. Oh, another little helper. Henry, Henry. Henry, you helping me. Okay, I haven't hammered the backing in, but I could not find a hammer. And I knew that I had this hammer in my crafting supplies. And yes, it's spray painted gold. Uh, this was when I was dressed up for Halloween and I went as uh, Fix It Felix. So my family, uh, we like to do, so my family, we went as wreck -It Ralph, uh, Vanellope, and I was Fix It Felix for Halloween two years ago, I think. And so that's where this guy comes in. So I'm gonna use my golden hammer to put on the backing for my bookcase. Update part 1 million. So, 
I got a fucking bookshelf, y'all. So I was gonna put it on this wall so it'd be facing out because I thought it might have been wider. But there is room for my side of bed, my nightstand, <laughs> and bookshelf to go there. So I'm trying to mount it before I put in the shelves and fill her up. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to have to um, do the drywall thing because I don't have a stud to put it in. So wish me luck. And now I'm currently watching Jordaline. She's a horror booktuber and I love her. I did it. So I got the mount thing in. I did it. And it's just like screwed in to the drywall, which is not that big of a deal, but I'm proud of myself. I put this in and it's like, I thought it was like just too tight. So I had to move this closer to the wall. And then I dropped the little holder thing two different times. So <laughs> this was a process. So I'm very proud. And I'm currently watching Avery's Vlogmas. She's been killing Vlogmas. She's actually doing like little vlogs daily vlogs and she's rereading the Fireblood Dragon series by Ruby Dixon and I'm so excited because the series gets really good towards the end as it builds up and and Avery's just amazing. Okay so I got the bookshelf set up with the shelves and then I unpacked these are all of the books that I owned pre-quarantine so there's not a ton um, these are all my comics and graphic novels um, pre-quarantine hardbacks and paperbacks a couple Bibles um, this stack in the corner is college yearbooks coffee table illustrated large books high school yearbooks um, middle school yearbooks from my husband's job, some older yearbooks, saxophone, uh, music book, my husband plays the saxophone, Penny's baby book, our diplomas, and um, I don't know. <laughs> I love this. This is uh, shit my dad says. Um, <laughs> this this guy basically um, took all of, like his dad's tweets and put it into a book, so it's just full of like snarky one-liner one-liners um, I have my Sailor Moon manga I have the rest of the John Mars books and then I forgot I got this I won this last year and it's alien holiday romance <laughs> so like oh so I'm gonna keep this out and try to read some of these but yeah I'm trying to figure where I want to put out where I want to put what um, I also had a big stack of school books which lived in this tub and so there's some that are gonna go back in storage and then I think this pile I'm going to take to work design related so I could use those and then these are like yearbook yearbooks and other yearbooks I do have yearbooks from universities I didn't go to, so I'm an old miss. I bought this with my own money because I love this design and I wanted to own it. <laughs> I'm a huge yearbook nerd. Um, and then I have this cactus book, which is, this is a UT book. And I, I didn't go to UT, but this is a gorgeous yearbook. So yeah, I'm a I'm a huge yearbook nerd. These are yearbook yearbooks, which means like it's like best of the best. I think this is tabbed from ours. Nope, it's not. <laughs> uh, it's like best of the best from clients. So yeah, I think like a third of my book collection previously was yearbooks. I'm a huge yearbook nerd. I was editor-in-chief my high school yearbook um, both years and then I was on staff and then editor-in-chief at my college, my university's yearbook staff. 
So, a little fun fact. So yeah, time to find a home for all of these and maybe incorporate some of my new books. We'll see. <sighs> little progress update. We're almost there. Um, however, I decided to take all of my yearbooks and coffee table books, picture books, bring those downstairs because I want them to live in our living room for people to look at. Um, and also I, I wanted more space up here, but I wanted these books downstairs. And hi, I have a small two shelfer downstairs. So after putting these up, I'll have to make the trips downstairs and yearbooks and coffee table books are very heavy. So here we go. Okay, last update. So I changed the bottom. So I moved all my, there's my comics down here, the big bind ups. I have my single issues. Then I have my Walking Dead, my Jen Bartell prints, get these framed. And then down here I just have some random stuff. So I have some of my Bibles, my Heather Graham books I just hold, and then so it's just random stuff. That's normally what your bottom shelf is. I love, I love love. And then I have my book garland that I made like three years ago during uh, Spooktober. Random Stephen King and horror books. My um, comic bind ups. Shel Silverstein. Dragon, Tea Dragon Society, Space Boy, No Game, No Life, Sailor Moon, some of my single issues that I need to get bag and boarded. So yeah, that's it. I put all of our yearbooks and coffee table books downstairs and um, yeah, pretty much filled up this whole, already got all my bookshelves filled up, so. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.